Hello students, today I want to welcome you to another lesson for PSE and in today's month lesson we want to solve a water bill. It says, use information provided in the bill below to calculate the total bill for water consumption. Remember you can subscribe for quick access to all the lessons and videos that will be posted. And the information on the bill is very important. You have the administrative fee which is $5 per month. The water charges, which is $0.05 cents per gallon. The tax charges, which is 12.5% GST. And you have the reading, which is the previous and the present reading in gallons. And remember, in order for us to solve a bill, the first step we want to do is what A is going to ask us. And based on A, A says, how many gallons of water did the Green family use during the month of January? And in order for us to find A, it's just one step. It's your present reading, which is 13,318, minus your previous reading, which is 12,150. So let's quickly solve A. Then we go to B, which asks us to calculate Mr. Green's water bill for the month of January. And that's where we'll continue with multiplying the bill by the 5 cents per gallon at our administrative fee and our GST, which is 12.5%. Okay, with no further delay, let's go straight into A. Again, how many gallons of water did the Green family use during the month of January? And it's the present minus the previous amount. So the present amount is 13,000. 318 minus 12,150. So all we need to do is to subtract and the bill is solved for A. Then we will just continue with B to solve the entire bill. So remember all we're looking for is step one to find out how many gallons of water the Green family use for this month. So 8 take away 0 is 8. 1 take away 5 can't borrow from the 3. Becomes 2. This becomes 11. And 11 minus 5 is 6. 2 minus 1 is 1. And 3 minus 2 is 1. And 1 take away 1 is 0. So if you can see, the green family used 1,168 gallon. And A is solved. That's all we needed to find out for A is how many gallons of water the green family use. And when we minus present from previous, 13,318 minus the 12,150, it's 1,168 gallons. Now B says calculate the green's family water bill for the month of January. Now we know that the green family use 1,168 gallons and as we continue with this it's 1,168 gallon multiply by the price of one gallon and based on the bill when we come back here it's five cents per gallon so we're going to multiply by five and place it at two decimal place and that will tell us how much they're going to pay for 1,168 gallon of water at five cents so 5 times 8 is 40, bring down the 0, carry the 4, 5 times 6 is 30, and 4, 34, bring down the 4, carry the 3, 5 times 1, 5, and 3, 8, then 5 times 1 is 5, then 2 decimal places, we place our decimal and make that money. So at 1,168 gallons of water that the family used at 5 cents, the bill is at $58.40. And remember, we want to solve the entire monthly bill. So to continue, after we multiply the amount of gallon by 5 cents, we want to add from here, as you can see, the $5 administrative fee. So you pay that towards the bill. So I'm going to add that $5 because that $5 is also a part of your bill. Then when I add the $5 to the $58.40, it's 
it's 0 plus 0, 0, 4 plus 0, 4, place my decimal, 8 plus 5, 13, bring down the 3, carry the 1, and 5 plus 1 is 6. So far, the bill is at $63.40. And we have one final step. We already found out our present minus our previous. We add the $5 administrative fee. After we multiply the amount of gallons used by five cents, then the final is what the government is going to charge, and that's 12.5%. So it's 12.5% of what the bill is at at the moment. And so far, with the 1,168 gallons at five cents, plus the $5 administrative fee, the bill is at $63.40. And now, the final step is to add our GST, which is the government sales tax, and you add that to the bill, and the price of the bill will be sold. So GST is 12.5%, and there's a rule in math where 12.5% will always be converted to 25 over 200. So that's just a math rule where 12.5% is converted to 25 over 200 times the $63.40 that the person bill is at at the moment. So $63.40. So let's cancel out. 25 could go into 25. 1. 25 could go into 200 eight times. Then we want to divide $63.40 by 8 and that will give us how much we're going to pay the government. So 63.40. Why? Because after we cancel out, one times 63.40 is 63.40. And we have the 8 at the bottom, which means that we're going to divide. So now let's see how many times 8 could go into $63.40. 8 can go into 6, but 8 could go into 63 seven times. And 7 times 8 is 56. So 3 cannot go into 6, bar 1 from a 6. That becomes 5. And this becomes 13. 13 minus 6 is 7. 8 cannot go into 7. Respect our decimal. Bring down the 4. Then how many times 8 could go into 74? Of course, the closest is 9 times. And when we multiply 9 times 8, we get 9 times 8 is 72. And when we minus 74 from 72, we're left with 2. So we bring down the 0. Then 8 could go into 22 times. 8 times 2, 16. And we minus, you're left with 4. But we'll stop at two decimal places. So the government sales tax for this bill is $7.00. 92 cents so this is all that was left for us to do is to find a gst and now we add it to the 63 dollars and 40 cents and the bill is solved so let's do that add the seven dollars and 92 cents to the bill zero plus two two nine plus four thirteen bring only three Carry the 1, 7 plus 3, 10 and 1, 11. Respect your decimal. Bring down 1, carry 1, then 6 plus 1 is 7. So the bill, and the total bill, is $71.32. And the bill is solved. How do we know? Because we completed everything. The first step we did was to minus your present from your previous. We got 1,168 gallons that a person used. The second step, it was 5 cents per each gallon of water. So it's 1,168 times 5. Then I put it at two decimal places. Then when I multiply 1,168 by 5, I got $58.40. Then from the bill, I needed to add my $5 administrative fee. That's just in the bill that I have to add. So when I add the $5 to the 5840, I get $63.40. Then that left me with the final part, 
which is the government sales tax, which is 12.5%. And remember, 12.5% always convert to 25 over 200 times the $63.40 that the bill was at at the moment. Then I cross multiply 25 into 25, 1, 25 into 208. Then I multiply 1 times 63, 40. I put the 63, 40 there. Then I divide it by the 8 since I cannot cancel out anymore. Then when I divide 8 into 63.40, I got $7.92, which we're going to pay the government in this bill. And then we just add the GST to the Greens family bill. So 63.40 plus 7.92. And when we add that 7.92 to 63.40, we got $71.32. And the bill is solved. Thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can subscribe for quick access to all the videos and lessons that will be posted on a daily basis. Remember, you can always subscribe and look forward for many, many more videos coming soon.